Omaha Public Schools is going with a new busing company next school year, and the board is voting on the bid right now. The district's contract with STA ends this summer. A new contract with Zoom services would pay bus drivers more and add new routes. KTV News Watch 7 Sean McKinnon is live to break down the numbers and what it all means. Sean. The switch to Zoom comes with years of problems with STA. Parents say their kids would wait for hours for a bus. Now with this new company, there's hope that something changes. Sometimes the bus doesn't come at all. Sometimes it's late. It's never the same bus driver. Those issues frustrated Angela Garcia Reyes so much, she pulled her Bell Ryan Elementary Schooler from the bus and put her in after school care. But in the mornings, STA buses are still not on time. I'm late to work every single day because I have to wait for the bus to get here. OPS now voting on a bid for Zoom services says the company will aggressively recruit and train bus drivers, but things will never be perfect. Um, just because we have a, a new vendor, we still will have challenges. The um, national driver shortage has not changed. After Zoom's initial three-year contract, OPS will have the power to re-sign them in years four and five. Zoom's total bid would cost the district $101 million, and they were the lowest bidder. Those numbers aren't final. The district says the total cost will be decided in contract discussions. It's been a struggle, so I'm really hopeful that this new company can deal with some of these issues. Once the contract is signed, Zoom will recruit new drivers. That starts almost immediately. And under a new contract, drivers will make more money than STA drivers did. With some OPS high schools adding senior classes this fall, there's going to be new routes. The district hopes that puts some problems in the past. When you have to put more than one route on one bus, that gets problematic as well in terms of communication to the parents. Garcia Reyes is ready to know when her daughter is getting home instead of radio silence. And a lot of times, like the bus would pick the kids up and it would just be no communication. The OPS parent you just heard from says she's willing to try this new bus company out. She'll be putting her daughter back on the bus this fall. Reporting live from OPS headquarters, Sean McKinnon, KETV Newswatch 7.